for me was the, the comedy one was uh, yeah. Yeah. the cocktail. Yeah. Yeah. The cocktail. Do you want a cocktail? Da, da, da. Which is you know is a classic. Um, you'll have it. You'll have your two characters together. Um, your background, two characters, straightforward. Um, your background, you want to set your background so it'll be in a, a bar situation. So you've got your, your bar. Yeah. Um, maybe a man standing behind the bar. Two friend, two guys in front of it. As I said, I'm an awful drawer. I never went to art school. Um, which is, you know, stepping it through very slowly but surely of what they're, what they're doing. Um, then, you know, from that I'll go to this key character here, I'll call him one, uh, call him two, call him three. So character one, I'm going to go for a tight shot. Um, I'm doing this very quickly. Yeah. So it'd be a nice face shot, him speaking. Yeah. Um, then I'll go over back a uh, reverse shot of character two. Um, profile. Character two, speech, yeah. Now, what you can do, if you wish, is have a separate line underneath, and you can put the text and the speech in of what he's going to do. So, you know, it's a very simple plot through. Back to uh, character one, which would be an opposing shot. So, um, it'll be that type of thing. Yeah, uh, character one, back up in the corner, with his speech underneath. Um, then it would go back to the wide shot again of the two of them and one of them is holding the product, yeah, the product, um, which is the stem product, yeah. So I'm starting to tell it straight away, you can see what I'm doing, very simple isn't it? You know, starting at the beginning, the two characters standing there and then it goes to this, they're in a bar shot so I've added that back, character one with his speech and his various words underneath here you can put in. Um, character two with a profile shot. Uh, got a funny hairstyle. Um, this is... Sorry? <laughs> um, and then it comes back to character one, then it goes to the wide shot again of the two people talking, of putting their in. Now obviously you can go more in depth, you can go really in depth, you know. I might want here the shot of the product. Yeah, a nice tight shot of his hand. This is his hand here holding the product. Yeah. Um, so as long as I can tell the story through of shot to shot to shot. So where I'm going to do my first shot, what I want is my two characters standing there looking at me. My second shot, I'm going to introduce them into a bar. First character is going to speak, so I want a nice tight shot. Second character is going to speak. First character is going to reply. So I'm plotting literally every shot. Blah, blah, blah. Then I'm going to go to the wide shot. Uh, with the speech. Then I want to see the product, so I'm going to do a tight shot of the product. Then I'm going to go back to the wide shot. Yeah. And the two characters again with the product in. Yeah. So, you know, I've just put that together, what, in one minute? And I've told it a story, yeah? Um, they take a bit of time take an hour or so, you know, they can really come up with something clever. Um, and it's very simple to do, you know, I'm an awful drawer, I know I am. I've never been able to get it right. But that's the basic of, of a storyboard. Mm. One thing you might be worth saying, and that you've done in there excellently, I, I must say, is uh, that you've used the 180 Sorry? degree You've used the 180 degree rule, i.e. that the, uh, person two is facing the right way and exactly. person one is facing the right exactly. way, which I'm often they get confused so with. See how I put him here, his sight lines looking across and his sight lines looking back at him. So he's telling the picture, he's telling the story. <laughs> this one's going to be talking across to him and he's talking back to him. And then they're here. Um, obviously you could even redraw this that the, they're looking at each other. Yeah? Um, I mean these are all hints and views. Generally, when I do a storyboard, I do my first storyboard and it shows me what then I need to do next. I end up on four or five storyboards. I go through one, I say, okay, and then I redraw it again because straight away I've got inserts here. I want to put an insert, I want to put another frame in here. Um, I want to put a shot of, you know, of the bar again or something. I want to, 
So you start adding to it more and more and more, and the longer you go, the, the more you can add to it to actually add all the shots. Um, and then, you know, this guy here, when he does this, what I want then is I want a shot of his eye, just his eye, winking, you know, a little wink. So he says, you know, and that tells me that's what I want. I can remember that now. I, will, I want to do that shot. They're both smiling. Um, and I want to go to, uh, I want to see this guy. He says, you know, stem cell research. He gives a wink. Um, so this is kind of a highlight of that, onto the wink and then back to the smiling shot, yeah? Um, and it's, it's just endless that you can do it. Once you've done a storyboard though, you'll know where your beginning, middle and end is. You can work through it chronologically.